Cells, the essence of life. What a strange flower. A flower made of smaller flowers, which are also formed by even smaller flowers. And what is the smallest flower made of? <laughs> All living beings are made of cells. A cell is the smallest unit of life within an organism. This means that it performs the basic functions of all living beings, feeding, socializing, and reproduction. It's like a tiny creature. <laughs> Most well-known living beings are made of many, many cells. They are multicellular organisms. But there are also single-cell or unicellular organisms, which can only be seen through a microscope. And what is a cell made of? The cells of animals and plants are composed of three main elements, cell membrane, cytoplasm, and nucleus. The nucleus controls all activities in a cell and contains the genetic information that is passed from one cell to its offspring. The cytoplasm is around it, a substance containing organelles, which are like tiny organs in charge of breathing or feeding. The cell membrane is a flexible cover that protects the cell and regulates the entry and exit of substances. Cells in microorganisms are simpler and lack a nucleus. Its genetic material is dispersed in the cytoplasm. Mm-hmm. Animals and plants are all made of cells, but we are quite different. Yes, animal and plant cells are different. For example, plant cells have an outer rigid wall that protects the plant and keeps it upright. They also have chloroplasts, organelles whose function is to make food. But how are cells organized within the body? Do they bump against each other? There are many types of cells with different shapes and functions, such as neurons, responsible for transmitting information, or muscle fibers capable of contraction. Similar cells are grouped together in tissues in order to perform a specific task. For example, muscle fibers from the muscular tissue, which specializes in muscle contraction. The union of tissues forms organs, which also have a specific function. The heart uses muscle tissue to contract and pump blood. Organs are grouped in order to form systems with a common mission. The circulatory system is responsible for distributing nutrients throughout the body thanks to the heart. The union and coordination of different systems creates an organism.